Good morning, it's chair yoga day. Helps you know what day of the week it is, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's Wednesday. And uh, I'll just wait a moment just before we start. As we're going live if you're watching this on the recap. <clears throat> Good morning. So um, Wednesday morning is chair yoga day. You can do this standing up if you want to. Um, but if you're gonna join me on a chair, we come to sit at the end, but do do this standing up or you can sit on the floor, whatever you want to do. Okay, but we're just making a bit of movement accessible to all. Okay, so wherever you come to be, just see if you can rest your hands somewhere on your body, maybe on your legs, maybe over your heart. See how you're feeling. <clears throat> and just allow the eyes to close as we just take a moment to drop in for our practice. So see if you can bring your awareness into the palms of your hands and whatever part of the body you're, you're touching. See so if you can feel the sensation of the hands on the body and the body underneath the hands. Let's take a couple of breaths. Feel the next inhale coming in. Release the exhale, soften the shoulders and blink the eyes open. Release the hands and just take them out wide, give the fingers a wriggle. And then we're gonna sweep the arms wide, take them up as far as is comfortable and then bring the hands down into prayer. And just take that again. So palms face up, reach the arms out, lengthen the armpits as you reach up and then bring it into your heart. And last one, palms reach up. Lengthen the waist this time, reach up, look up to your hands and then bring the hands into your heart. And we're gonna bring the hands to rest on the legs. So if you have the feet uh, about hip distance apart, you can hold the knees or the thighs and just start to take a little couple of seated cat cows. So drawing the chest forwards, draw the tummy, lengthen the front of the neck without crashing into the back of the neck. And as you exhale, round it through, chin to the chest. So just make sure if you're sitting on a chair that you're sitting on the edge of the chair so that you've got space to really move your spine. Taking a few of those. And as you exhale, maybe drawing the tummy in towards the spine, just waking up our core. And next time you inhale, feel that extension in the front of the body and then come back to a neutral spine. And we're going to take the feet a little bit wider and toes kind of pointing out on a diagonal. And this time we're going to start to move the, the spine from left to right. So just wriggling, feel the rib cage moving from side to side, trying to keep heavy through your hips. Again, this could be done on the floor if you want to. And then we're gonna to start to combine this movement with the cat cow. So as you go to the left, see if you can scoop your chest forward, stick the chest out and then take it to the right and then round the spine, chin to chest as you go back. And we start to move from side to side. I'm on a very creaky chair. I'm not sure if that's coming through. But you know I'm wriggling. Okay, and if you're going really fast, maybe you want to go fast. See if you can maybe slow it down, see how that feels. Cool, it's so creaky. Okay, and we'll reverse the circles in the opposite way. Feeling that movement and feeling your breath. And when you come back next time, we're going to take it back to the right. We're just going to start to almost limber up a little bit and just get a little bit more flow, waking the body up. I swear it's my chair, it's not my bones. Okay, I'm taking it to the opposite side. A little bit faster. Okay, and then bring the legs in. Unless you're comfy sitting wide leg, it's quite comfy, isn't it? Not very ladylike. <laughs> 
Um, we're gonna take the arms out into uh, cactus arms. So see if you can draw the elbows in line with the shoulders and just have a little bit of engagement through the tummy. So drawing the tummy in towards the spine, lengthening through the neck. And we're gonna twist to the right for the next exhale. Inhale through center and twist to the left. And we're gonna keep going from side to side. Moving with the breath. And again, you can go quite slowly here. Just depends on what mood you're in really. If you wanna bring a little bit of energy into your day, you can start to combine this with um, a breath called Kapalabhati, which is a really sharp exhale. I'll talk you through and then I'll, I'll demonstrate. And the inhale is quite passive and you can begin to speed up and take it quite wide. If your shoulders are getting tired, you can bring the hands onto the tops of the shoulders. But the Kapalabhati breath is So see if you want to join in. So it's a really sharp exhale. Don't really focus on the inhale. I would close your eyes if you're going this way. And then after the next exhale, come back through centre. Rest the hands on your legs. Just give the shoulders a shrug. If you did the Kapalabhati, it can give you quite a little, um, they call it school shining. It's a little bit of a head rush. So just notice. Okay, and then open the eyes. We're gonna bring the hands together. Push the palms forwards, draw the chin to the chest, and then sweep those arms up towards the ceiling and break the arms free. So in towards the chest. Exhale, push them away and inhale up. And break it free. So inhaling. Take one more. Taking it all the way up and breaking it free and then give the shoulders a shrug so um if we were on a chair with me we're going to take it slightly different and try and get into the legs a little bit so i'm going to turn to the left side of my chair and just wriggle back so my butt's on the kind of edge of that chair so my left knee is bent and then i'm going to drop my right shin down towards the ground so the knees pointing down toes can be tucked or untucked and that leg's kind of hovering so see if you can release through that thigh and then we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. See if you can sweep them back a little bit and lean towards that front leg. So we inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, taking it forward. See if you can soften into the back leg. And take two more. And next time you bring it forwards, hold it there. See if you can just lift up the tummy muscles, draw the shoulders away from the ears, push down through that front foot, and then lift yourself up to neutral. And take a little wriggle on your chair, and we'll take it to the other side. So just finding that place where you can drop the left thigh down, the left knee down, rooting through that front leg. And we inhale, sweep the arms up, a little bit of extension through the spine. And as you exhale, sweep the arms back, tummy reaches forwards. And take that a few times, using your breath. And last one. And as you come forwards, See if you can lean it forwards, draw the tummy muscles up a little bit towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears, reach back through those fingers, nice strong arms, and breathe. And then sweep the arms forwards and up, and then bring it back through center. Come back to face the regular way on your chair, if you join on the chair. And we're gonna pick up the left leg, bring the hands underneath the thigh, and just extend that leg, give the ankle a bit of a circle. And point and flex. And then spread the toes, weight the feet up. And we'll bring that ankle across the right leg, so sitting cross-legged in this kind of figure four shape, just flexing that foot so it's not, not limp. 
And then you can stay here. This might be a nice hip stretch for you. You can bring a bit of weight into the left hand, into that thigh. Or you might lift up and over, tummy muscles drawing in and hinge forwards. Just finding that nice stretch. And then push through your foundations. Lift yourself up and uncross. We'll take it to the other side. So choosing whether this is a good hip stretch. If you're sitting in a chair all day, this is a great one to do. So rather than sitting in your regular unhealthy cross-legged way, see if you can sit like this. It'll do wonders for your hips. Okay, and then lift up and over if you want to and lean it forward. So we're not dumping the pressure through this knee. It's just a little bit of, um, just a little bit of weight just to help that that hip, that thigh open up. And then lifting it up, uncross the legs, give the shoulders a shrug. Oh, and let's uh, take the back of this uh, right leg and just point and flex that foot and take it into some circles. And then spread the toes and we'll release that leg down. Give the body a wriggle and then take the arms all the way up to the ceiling reach up take a little bit of a lean over to the right side reach up switch hands lean over to the left back up through center bring the hands down into your heart close the eyes and just take a moment to notice how you're feeling and really observe and feel your breath And see if you can take something from this into your day. A little bit of connection. And we bow the head to the hands, the mind to the body. Namaste. Thank you so very much. Have a lovely day. The sun is shining here. Hope it is with you. And uh, I shall see you soon.